and fellow debaters. As the rebuttal speaker for the negative side, I would like to first point out that the contentions affirmative side made are not true and the alternative they provided cannot solve the inherent harms. That emphasize the current plan we propose is actually more feasible to Taiwanese society, proving to you that Taiwanese government should not make prostitution a legal business. In today's debate, both sides have made, attempted to establish contentions as follows. They began with defining prostitution as a business of having sex for money and try to protect the working rights of sex workers. However, we perceive prostitution as a form of violence instead of a job. We let establish the contention that prostitution is an objectification of women and a reinforcement on gender stereotype of men controlling women's body through economic dominance. 
Furthermore, we contend that prostitutes face a high risk of both health and physical security at their workplace while not receiving equivalent pay in return, making prostitution a form of violence. When prostitutes are generally in weak, the weaker position, no better physically or economically, legalizing prostitution will be reinforcing this form of unbalanced power on the weaker party. Only by eliminating this infringement upon prostitutes' rights can we truly reach equality. First, they try to establish the harm of SDE when they try to attack on the solvency of our plan. They failed to provide any concrete evidence but estimation to prove their plan can bear, can effectively carry can be effectively carried out. While our plan provides free treatment and career counseling program to eradicate the problems. Second, they try to state that sex worker safety will be protected in legalized countries. However, we have the evidence from World Development Report showing that there are more human trafficking cases reported in legalized regions, while the evidence show that the number decreased by implementing the Swedish model. Therefore, it will make Taiwan face a higher risk once prostitution is legal. Hence, it corresponds to our stance that helping the prostitutes to leave the dangerous environment is more feasible to overall improving their living situation. Third, sexual exploitation. They said that legalizing prostitution can protect, protect the sex workers' fundamental rights. However, we have proved that this claim is not true. When 80% of prostitutes are pimp-controlled, pimp forcing them, forcing prostitutes to work in brothels will increase pimp's control over them since sex workers have no choice but to stay in that specific place to conduct business. This leave, leaves the prostitutes which not only not better protected but become more dependent on the pimps who exploits them the most. We Negative has also contended that Prostitutes are not getting equivalent pay and social welfare. However, the affirmative neglected this fact and made no solution to this problem, while our plan provides subsidies during the transition period of receiving career training. The affirmative uh, to improve the status quo, the affirmative has made attempted made attempt as follows. First, they said that they will have brothels for prostitutes to conduct business. However, they ignore the fact that public are actually reluctant to have sex industry in nearby regions out of Nimbi effect. With the poll conducted in 2011, majority of 342 Taiwanese citizens don't want sex industry near their neighborhood. In this case, they are they are forcing this uh, they are forcing the public to accept this policy without the consent from the public. Second, registration system. We highly doubt that the affirmative plan about registration can be successfully carried out because of prostitutes' unwillingness to leave a record. According to the German news agency, Germany, where prostitution is fully legal and prostitutes have access to social benefits, only 44 out of an estimated 400,000 to 1 million prostitutes chose to register for a license in order to access these benefits. Therefore, we believe that their plan cannot protect and keep track of these sex workers simply because they wouldn't even go to register, which means losing their anonymity. Furthermore, if unlicensed prostitutes are prosecuted as criminals, it will drive them underground, making it even harder to protect, protect sex workers' rights. They claim that STD can be solved with their policy of free health check. However, they neglected prostitutes' daily household during their treatment with no income, with the affirmative failed to prove the use of condom will increase after legalizing prostitution. They, fourth, brother, they try to get the sex workers in control by demanding to go into a certain brother to conduct business. However, they failed to prove that these incentives will be strong enough for the sex workers. As a result, we believe that their plan is immature and it will cause even more harms to society. In conclusion, we negatively believe that we have proven to you that prostitution is improper for an inherent Taiwan society. And legalizing prostitution will do more harm to society. Thank you. Thank you, Rebound Speech. Three minutes and five minutes. Good afternoon. I will start this in this round. I will first address some attacks made by the negative side. First of all, they say that prostitution is, <clears throat> the act of prostitution objectifies the prostitutes. However, we believe that that is not true. 
For example, if I go to a massage parlor and I go there to fulfill my desires to relax, does that mean that I objectify the masseuse who's giving me the massage? Of course not. So we argue that a, a prostitution does not objectify the prostitutes. Second, they say that our plan would increase human trafficking. However, the evidence they provide um, includes countries like Netherlands, countries like Germany and Europe. However, I might remind us all that um, the geography of those Europe and Taiwan is completely different. Taiwan is an island um, surrounded by sea and Europe is barely just land border. It's, there's a very big difference in that. So we believe that human trafficking cannot be compared with those um, cases in Europe. Now, they also mentioned that 90% of the prostitutes want to live it, leave the industry. However, that is on the basis that prostitution is legal. Whether or not after legalizing prostitution that would remain the same is questionable. Now, on to the things that the negative has have missed. Okay. Their plan, even if their plan can solve the problems that they claim it can, it is completely impossible to impl implement, um, sorry, to put, put their um, policy into place into the current Taiwanese government system because in the interpretation 666 of the constitution,